Hi, and welcome to Discover Oklahoma. I'm Lauren Nelson. And I'm Dean O'Lally. Today we're coming to you from Sorrell Custom Boots in Guthrie. This is a custom boot shop. There are few like it in Oklahoma and even the Southwest. One of a kind custom fit boots are made right here in Guthrie by bootmaker Lisa Sorrell. From simple traditional cowboy boots to something flashy and artistic, Lisa can make any idea a reality. We'll show you some of her work throughout the show. But first, a trip to one of the premier art museums in our part of the country. The Gilcrease, of course, is known for its incredible collection. But as Jason Grubbs shows us, it's a traveling Norman Rockwell exhibit that has a lot of folks coming in for a look. We are in the Norman Rockwell Behind the Camera exhibition. Norman Rockwell's creative process started with an idea, which would end up on the cover of weekly magazines seen by millions. Well, these are all Norman Rockwell's ideas, and he's actually bringing them to the post uh, for them to put on the covers. And he was really good at it. Rockwell produced 323 covers during his career. The artist would frequently use family, friends, and neighbors as his models, capturing the details with the camera. The posture, the, the sense of motion, the lighting of a particular uh, situation or image. As many of these images truly show the work in process of that creative process. These photographs for Rockwell's piece called The Runaway are a great example of his process. Here you can see the subjects posing. Rockwell has an initial sketch. You see a young man behind the counter looking at this young runaway. Uh, the setting is a Howard Johnson's restaurant. It has a very urban kind of city feel to it. And as you can see, Rockwell would make some changes along the way before he settled on his final piece. We've replaced the younger man with a much older man. And it's now a much more rural kind of diner out in the country somewhere, which shows Rockwell's process that my initial drawing, while I liked it, the little guy hasn't gotten far enough away from home to really be a runaway. Rockwell's paintings have a sense of nostalgia about them, his early works, lighthearted and fun. Over time, his artful messages would change. Two very important pieces in the exhibition focus on the civil rights movement. This one commemorates the 10th anniversary of Brown versus Board of Education. And then New Kids in the Neighborhood, showing the desegregation of neighborhoods. Those two are as relevant and as timely today as they were in the mid-1960s when they were created. Rockwell's work fills eight galleries here. Some of them serious, others are fun, many of them iconic. Before you leave, stop by the Activity Center and place yourself on the cover of the Gilcrease Gazette or hop into Rockwell's piece called The Gossip. It's like the game of telephone that starts with a chatty neighbor until it finally reaches the subject of the gossip, who is Norman Rockwell. And he confronts the person that started the gossip very angrily at the, in the last image. One thing I don't think Rockwell would mind you talking about with your own family, friends, and neighbors is his exhibit, taking you behind the camera. At the Gilcrease Museum in Tulsa, I'm Jason Grubbs for Discover Oklahoma. Norman Rockwell Behind the Camera will be on display at the Gilcrease until June 10th. The museum is closed on Monday and open 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. the rest of the week. Hit up their website for more information on planning your trip. And after a trip to the museum, you may be looking for a place to rest your head, but you want more than that, maybe combining art with a nice restful stay. Well, we've got just the spot in Guthrie. Angela Buckaloo takes us to the award-winning Atomic Loft. There's a lot going on inside this cool old storefront across from the Pollard Theater. This is an old lamp, and I think I paid 15 bucks for it, and I spray painted it gold, but it's really, really weird and funky, and then I put a light in it like it's a flame, and so. First you find Utopia Joe Steampunk Surf Shop, which is just too much fun. In fact, that's what I found myself saying over. That is so fun and over again. It's so fun. It is. This is so fun. I love it. <laughs> I think so. 
Artist Utopia Joe and fellow artist and wife Tiffany Bower are the creators of this fun where you can shop for cool originals. So I came up with this invention, this uh, Sir General Utopia Joe guy, who created all these wacky futuristic inventions. I did a lot of original inkings. I inked for uh, Marvel Comics and I did a lot of uh, creative ad uh, making back in the old days. So I used the old school stuff of using press type and original inkings. Look for one-of-a-kind finds, inked handmade surfboards, some made into hat racks, another a light. I like to create things that's never been done ever, ever, ever. Moving on over to the painting side. This is it. This is the Tipsy Artist Paint Palace. Yay! And we do, uh, we drink wine and we paint. Drinking wine is optional, of course, but decompressing, well, that's just inevitable. Everything about our world now is so virtual, and I think sometimes we, we become disconnected. And so this is a place where, you know, you're really connecting with people and a sense of community. 96 tipsy artists can fit into this classroom, and Tiffany explains it doesn't even matter if you have no idea how to paint, because the experience is about painting for sure, but also about so much more. So my house, is, feels like the tipsy artist, meaning like every piece of art that you see for the most part in my house is literally done here. Guthrie resident Hetty Coleman's wife is a frequent tipsy artist. Every painting, a story. Yeah, yeah, it's like one of them, she came with her daughter and her mom, and one time she came with her mom and her mother-in-law, and one time she came with the church group, and one time she comes with her best friends, and so you can't beat that. And, and the, the memories that were made, now you have something to help ignite those memories every time you see it. So that's a big part of our home, is Tipsy Artist. Speaking yeah, of home. Is, I think it's about almost 12, 1300 square feet. The Atomic Loft Bed and Breakfast is right upstairs. It features an old school vibe with modern conveniences. So this is the first room? Yes. Two bedrooms, full kitchen, plenty of room for a couple looking for a romantic getaway, a family, or a group. It can sleep 10 or more. Some kind of girls weekend or bachelorette party. Um, you really have, it's a one-stop shop. You have everything that you could possibly need within walking distance. We try to create a place here in Guthrie where you, where you really go back in time and you get off your cell phones and you spend time with each other and just kind of figure out how to, you know, reconnect, yeah. <laughs> Utopia Joe Steampunk Surf Shop, coupled with the Tipsy Artist Paint Parties and the Atomic Loft B&B, will make for a getaway you won't want to get away from. In Guthrie, Oklahoma, I'm Angela Buckaloo for Discover Oklahoma. If you're ready to plan your trip to Guthrie, we would love to send you a copy of our Guthrie brochure. Just head to the website TravelOK.com and click up top where it says Request Free Brochures. Coming up on Discover Oklahoma. I love it, I think it's different, it's quaint, it's cute, and you almost feel like you're not in Oklahoma. Where you can feel like you're miles away right in the heart of Oklahoma City. I've lived in a lot of places, gone to a lot of coffee shops, but it's fun to come here. Plus the must stop coffee shop in the Arbuckles. And the cake is divine, it's wonderful. You can't get this cake anywhere. We'll take you to the place where they come for the barbecue but stay for the dessert. It's all ahead right here on Discover Oklahoma. The Oklahoma Department of Agritourism salutes Vernost Winery in Hennessy, open on weekends. Set a course for excitement with your free Oklahoma Outdoor Guide. It's your all-in-one handbook for outdoor inspiration. Cabins, campsites, healthy lodges, breathtaking adventures, and so much more. Order yours at TravelOK.com. Welcome back to Discover Oklahoma. We're taking a look at all the incredible boots made at Sorrel Custom Boots here in Guthrie. And once you've got your boots on, it's time to head out for breakfast. Absolutely, we've got just the spot for you. A locally owned joint that first opened in Norman has now expanded to Oklahoma City. Tiffany Tatro is gonna take us to a place called Syrup. If you wanna eat well while doing good, we have the perfect place for you here at Syrup on 23rd Street. Syrup in Oklahoma City is not your typical breakfast place. It's fun. Uh, we're smiling a whole lot. We have a very young um, crowd that um, we work with, so everyone's always smiling. Some people are dancing, um, so it's kind of a fun environment to dive into in the morning. 
Along with a friendly, upbeat environment, Syrup offers a unique take on breakfast with a menu full of specialties you won't find anywhere else. Like the crunchy French toast, bread dipped in cornflakes, grilled golden brown, then sprinkled with strawberries and powdered sugar. And another favorite, the breakfast sliders. Three tasty sliders served on silver dollar pancakes with scrambled eggs and your choice of bacon or sausage. While the food is delicious, what really sets Syrup apart is their mission. We function as a nonprofit. All of our um, proceeds and everything like that go to humanitarian relief. Um, we've helped fill water wells in the past and helped orphanages and pay with different type of churches and um, local nonprofits to kind of uplift our community and the communities in Africa. So while you may be coming in to just eat breakfast, you're also helping the community at the same time. So when you come in here and you eat something, it's just going to someplace a little bit bigger and better than what you would think if you went down the street and had any other breakfast anywhere else. That mission to do good shines through with the staff who goes out of their way to put a smile on your face. Especially um, in the morning when people are, you know, are kind of a little tired and they see us with a little bit more energy. And on top of that, you get some pretty good coffee to go with it. From the food to the fun, everybody seems to be a fan of syrup. I love it. I think it's different. It's quaint. It's cute. And you almost feel like you're not in Oklahoma. I love it. The most mimosas are great. The latte is awesome. Um, we came here because we wanted to try something new. And most importantly, are doing good while they're eating well. When we serve you guys breakfast, we just want people to know that it's 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 more so about what we're trying to do than them eating a pancake. In Oklahoma City, Tiffany Tatro, Discover Oklahoma. Syrup is open at 7 a.m. seven days a week and closes at 1 p.m. on weekdays and 2 on weekends. The Norman location is on Main Street and in the city, you'll find them at 1521 Northwest 23rd Street. It all looks delicious, but you might need a long hike to work some of that off. No kidding, and there's no better place to do that, of course, than at an Oklahoma State Park. And while you're there, why don't you pick up one of the park's passports and start your family's next big adventure. The Oklahoma State Park's passport program has a dual purpose. So it has a two -fold, that two-fold purpose, to encourage travel to state parks, uh, but also to encourage wellness, fitness of our youth. Fourth graders across the state receive free passport booklets, and last year one of those fourth graders was Summer Holmes. And now the Holmes family is the first family to visit all 34 Oklahoma State Parks. And it's at Lake Thunderbird State Park that we caught up with them. We did it all in the period of one summer, and, and that was a lot of fun. You know, it was, a, it was a goal we could achieve as a family, and, and, and you know, it, it, we had a lot of long road trips, but it was a lot of fun just, just spending that time together. Uh, and the passport book, program makes it easy because everything is all spelled out, tells you where it is in the state and, and helps you plan your trip. And the website uh, tools were very, uh, very good to use too as well. We did a little bit of everything. Some, some of the state parks we just kind of did a drive through and played on the playground and got our sticker and moved on. Uh, some of the other parks we stayed at for, for several days. We stayed in the cabins and uh, rocked the boat, we went fishing, we camped, we, we did lots of different things. I think the fastest way to create priceless vacation memories as a family is to go somewhere with a lot of things to do, but also simple things like a boat ride or fishing. I have two. I like Black Mesa because I like um, hiking up the mountain at the very top and you can see lots of things in Osage Hills, which is really relaxing and it's fun to swim the river. And part of the fun of participating in the park's passport program is collecting the stickers, medallions, and the fitness medals. The program is great. The kids love going to the park office and like, we gotta get our stickers and putting it in their books. And then they even have, they give them a token for every six state parks we went to. We got a token and a medal for doing the exercises and the activities. They really ate that up and it was fun for me too. You can even take your tokens and turn them into a bracelet or necklace. I like Great Salt Plains because we got to dig for crystals. I liked bringing the crystals home with me. Do you remember what um, token we got first? No. We got the buffalo. We got the buffalo. Every member of the Holmes family told me visiting all 34 state parks was a series of fun adventures. They created wonderful family memories and explored the beauty and diversity of Oklahoma and its state parks. Um, I like Black Mesa Why? because the Mesa was really cool and 
we had a nice cabin and when we got up there it was just really cool and dad found some antlers too. We went to Red Rock Canyon and Great Plains State Park. That was beautiful there. Oklahoma is, is so diverse, you know. I, I, I really like the diversity of being able to see Black Mesa, but I really like Broken Bow State Park too. I would have to go with Robber's Cave. Well, uh, like Tin Killer and Osage Hills and that's mm, and Great Salt Plains. I like going in the cave in caves like at R Robber's Cave. I like it better when we're as a family instead of by myself because you get to talk and have fun as a family and share memories. When we went, you just got to go on a road trip and just stay here in Oklahoma and just lots of different activities and cabins and outdoor stuff you can do. The park's passports are available in the office of all Oklahoma State Parks. Just ask for one, follow the directions, and you'll be on your way to earning great souvenirs. Coming up on Discover Oklahoma. Well, they won't give out the recipes because I've asked them several times. The secret recipe that keeps folks coming back for more. It's all made to order. We do it fresh. We make our own pickles in-house. And the coffee and lunch spot where it's all made from scratch will take you there when Discover Oklahoma continues. Great travel tips anytime. Like Discover Oklahoma on Facebook and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Create your ultimate Oklahoma bucket list with this year's free Oklahoma travel guide. Discover captivating culture, heart-pounding adventure, ultimate relaxation. This bucket list can't be missed. Order yours free today at TravelOK.com. Welcome back to Discover Oklahoma. We're checking out these incredible handmade boots at Sorrel Custom Boots in Guthrie. Now, if you hop on I-35 here in Guthrie and head south about 90 miles, you'll run into the cutest little coffee shop and cafe around the Arbuckle Mountains. And as Tina McGarry will show us, there is a great story behind the name. Let's check out Beyond Blessed in Davis. A warm, comforting aroma swirls through the air in downtown Davis, inviting folks to quaint and cozy Main Street, where cup by cup, Beyond Blessed Coffee Roasters is serving their community. We are Beyond Blessed Coffee Roasters. We are a local small batch micro roastery and we carry all of our, we carry several different origins. We roast everything in house. Our espresso blend is our own blend. Our cold brew is our own blend. Freshly roasted and unlimited possibilities. Hot coffee, iced coffee, blended coffee, you name it, they create it to your taste. There you go. If you don't know anything about coffee, uh, you're intimidated by coffee, we'll walk you through the process. Uh, we don't have all them fancy words. Uh, we just do small, medium, large, and I like a little chocolate in it. We know what we can do with that. Uh, so we'll help you out to order what you want. What started as a hobby for Chris Travis turned into a passion. I've always been a coffee drinker. Okay. Uh, as soon as I can remember, I've been drinking coffee. Uh, but I never knew the process of it getting to my cup until about two years ago. He started roasting at home and soon opened Beyond Blessed. It's a true family business for Chris and Donna. Everyone pitches in to help, and customers are treated like family. It's been just awesome. It has been phenomenal. We never thought that we would be business owners. Um, we had no business training, no background at all. So it's been a lot of learning, but we love our customers so much. The first actual thing we were known for, it's called the KTS or it's a kindergarten teacher special. The first day we were open, one of the kindergarten teachers came in and ordered this drink. It's a blended caramel mocha. Um, and she ordered it for like all the kindergarten teachers. And that became our first actual named drink. It's the KTS. A short drive off I-35 nestled in scenic southern Oklahoma. This little coffee shop draws a mix of visitors and locals. Casey Kilblaine is happy to be a regular here. It's a great welcoming environment and, and it's a nice way to mix and mingle with other people in the community and, and see um, visitors. Uh, we're, we're kind of a tourist area with Turner Falls and the lake and, and the Chickasaw Retreat Center and all that's in Sulphur. So it's a nice uh, spot to see all different people and just to really, um, groups of us come and have coffee, girls together, um, they've done paint and palettes, they do just all kinds of things. So it's really a, a gathering spot in our community. I love coming here because it's more familial than most coffee shops. Um, I've lived in a lot of places, gone to a lot of coffee shops, but it's fun to come here because it feels more like home. So even when you travel, um, like I was in D.C. a couple weeks ago, we hit coffee shops, and they're nice, it's good. 
but you come back here and it feels more like home. It's, yeah, it's nice. Good people. Good people who run their business like they run their family, pouring love into their community. In everything we've done, we want God to be at the center of it. And how can we put God at the center of this? Why a coffee shop? We don't fully have that answer yet, but I think we're on the way to finding that answer. We really just love the experience that we come and we have here. Um, our girls order the same thing every time, so they know what to give our girls when they come in. Um, and they even let them name their smoothie. It's called the Pink Princess. <laughs> they put sprinkles on top and everything. Along with great coffee, customers can enjoy a variety of delicious breakfast foods. Beyond Blessed also serves up a fantastic lunch. We have grilled panini sandwiches, and we have different meats, veggies, um, cheeses, that kind of thing. It's all made to order. We do it fresh. We make our own pickles in-house. It's a place where folks can gather with old friends and new, and cup by cup, one Oklahoma family is living the American dream. We bag all of our coffee right here, and we have it for sale. So if you're in the area, you really like our coffee, you can actually buy it. We'll grind it here, and you can go on down. Beyond Blessed also has an online store where you can order their coffee beans. I promise you won't be disappointed. They ship anywhere in the United States. In Davis, I'm Tina McGarry, Discovering Oklahoma. Beyond Blessed is at 121 East Main Street in Davis, not too far off I-35. They're closed on Sundays, open for breakfast and lunch the rest of the week. Up next on Discover Oklahoma. I'm just, just so honored to be a part of Oklahoma. The sweet story behind some of the best barbecue in the state when Discover Oklahoma continues. Want to discover even more about the show? Go online and watch Discover Oklahoma anywhere, anytime. Catch up on missed episodes, track down interesting locations, and submit your own story ideas. Start exploring today at discoveroklahomatv.com. We've had such a great time today here at Sorrel Custom Boots, checking out all of the handmade boots. And you know, earlier in the show, we had breakfast covered at mm -hmm. Syrup, but I think I'm ready for something for lunch or dinner. Yes, and well, we can just head about 20 minutes south of here in Guthrie and go to Oklahoma City to get some great food at Leo's Barbecue. Hey, man, how you doing? At Leo's Barbecue, the lunch crowd fills this place up fast. You have to come early. This small restaurant at the corner of Northeast 36th and Kelly in Oklahoma City may not look like much from the outside, but inside is some of the best smoked meat you'll find anywhere. We get here about once a week normally, yeah. How come you come so often? Because we love it. Uh, the sauce, the ribs. We have ribs, beef, hot links, and bologna, bean slaw, potato salad, and macaroni. Owner Charles Smith is quite the character. He's known to walk around talking with every table and even following some customers out the door. I'll slow down so the camera can keep up with me. <laughs> Thanking them for stopping by. I'm glad you chose Leo. I'm just, just so honored to be a part of Oklahoma. This restaurant was opened in 1974 by Charles' dad. He still lives right here. He didn't inherit the barbecue joint, but has worked hard to earn it and keep it open. It's my boy, Lil Rico. That's about the size I was when I started. I don't ever worry about being the best, I just worry about being my best. His best has earned him a spot on Food Network shows like Diners, Drives and Dives and Barbecue Crawl. He was named one of the top 100 places to chow down in America. It's not just the barbecue people rave about. And the cake is divine. It's wonderful. You can't get this cake anywhere. The strawberry banana cake made fresh each day is something you will only find here. Well, they won't give out the recipes because I've asked them several times. <laughs> but it's uh, like a yellow cake and then it has like strawberries on it, fresh strawberries and then a glaze over it. It's fresh bananas. It's wonderful. Charles has worked hard to perfect these recipes. He says it's all been worth it to see so many satisfied customers. I just love what I do. I have a passion for what I do, and uh, I'm just, like I say, grateful to be able to do it. Shelly Mills, Discover Oklahoma. And no matter where your next road trip takes you, the Discover Oklahoma Dining Guide will help you find a great place to eat. Just log on to our website, travelok.com, and click Request Free Brochures to get your coffee. 
A huge thank you to Lisa Sorrell, the owner and bootmaker here at Sorrell Custom Boots in Guthrie for hosting us this week. One important reminder from Lisa, while she loves working on all sorts of custom boot orders, the shop does not do boot repairs. You can come by to visit though, and she's happy to work with you for your next pair of custom designed boots. And coming up next Saturday on Discover Oklahoma, we're talking tacos. Find some of the best Mexican food in central Oklahoma. Plus, one of the most relaxing bed and breakfasts in the state. We're headed to southern Oklahoma to relax at this hot spot. It's all coming up next Saturday night right here on Discover Oklahoma. So until next time, remember, there's always something to discover in Oklahoma.